you could join me. Today's a great day. We got a bunch of reasons why you should hang around here today. Two of them are, we're gonna throw some lamb on the offset smoker. We're gonna throw some ribs on the offset smoker. For me, why today is such a great day is the Longhorns are playing their orange and white scrimmage. So we're guaranteed to win, can't beat that. The Spurs play tonight. And that's always awesome. I think it's like 22 consecutive years in the playoffs. I'm getting kind of spoiled with those guys, but love it. Good job. And so just kick back, hang out, drink some beer, make fun of me, leave some comments. Uh, do what you need to do, but let's, have, let's enjoy today. Okay, we're back. So here it is. Here's that special shoulder of lamb. I'm really excited about this. Um, so I know that this has obviously got a lot of fat here. I'm not going to trim any of it. I'm going to throw this thing right on the pit after I get done seasoning it. And there's the bone. And I got a, some bone right here. And so what I'm going to do is throw some mustard on it. If I had uh, virgin olive oil, that's probably what I would do instead of the mustard, but I just don't have any right now, so mustard it is. I've said this several times, it's just a binder. Don't believe it adds any taste. I have friends that argue that with me, but that's okay. Everybody's got their own opinions. Some are good, some are bad. But I do not think this mustard adds any flavor. Got that side, let's just flip it over. Throw some right here, it's kind of windy today. Luckily, the rain passed right over us. The reason why I'm kind of doing lamb today, personally, is next week's Easter. And if you've never cooked a lamb before, I just wanted to show you how I do it. Maybe you can cook your grandma a lamb for next weekend. I don't know. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and season it since I got the bottom already up. Let's go ahead and season that second. Mm, come on. Mm. Oh boy, there we go. I'll get quite a bit on it. As always, this is a pretty good thick piece of meat. So I, don't, I guess you could over season it. But uh, I want this to form a pretty nice looking bark. Kind of like I would a brisket or pork butt or, you know, ribs. Beef ribs in particular. Let's just give this a good old coating. Um, we've got a big jug of this seasoning, so I'll be all right if it wastes a little bit. I'm really excited about this stuff though. It's got a really good flavor. I dab, uh, put some on my hand, I gave that stuff a lick. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Get that right there. I don't want any bare spots. Might as well get seasoning on all of it. It's pretty simple. Give it a once over. Oh yeah, look at that. Real good. All right, I'm gonna put it on the pit. See you in just a second. Uh, yeah, so you saw how white that smoke was. Yeah, definitely don't want that. I want blue smoke, not this thick white stuff. So just wanted to show you, this is no good. Blue smoke smells good, tastes better. This is what. Okay, you know. we're back. So we're about to put this uh, shoulder of lamb on the barbecue pit, and uh, the way we're going to do it today is it has a bone side, which is right here. We're going to lay that bone side down right there, towards the back of the pit, about right there. And we're going to leave that thing on for about five hours. Five and a half, maybe. It may take up to seven hours. I'm not 100% sure. But we'll check in. We'll show you what it looks like during the cook. You just kick back, drink cold beer, and, and uh, enjoy. 
I just wanted to let you know that throughout today's barbecue, we are going to be using post oak, which is my personal favorite. It's a mild wood, it burns clean, and it burns hot. That's why I like it. And with lamb, you don't want something that's very overpowering. If anything, you'd probably prefer to even go to your fruit bowls, but I don't have any. So I have a post oak, and that's what I plan on using today. Just thought I'd let you know. Okay, we're back. And this is, uh, it's been on here for a couple hours, so I'm just going to kind of show you what I'm looking for. Uh, one thing that I want to mention, though, is uh, we've been at uh, about 250 all day. And, you know, I've, due to the wind and everything, I've had to leave my vent on my barbecue open. And this top up here open to make my temp uh, maintain that temperature. So it's been a little bit different today. Anyways, let's take a look at what we have going on here. Now that's that shoulder of lamb, and that's the one that I showed you how I seasoned and everything. And like I said, we've been in here for a couple hours, and you can see that fat starting to split right there. And that's kind of a good indication that it's cooking. Now, what I'm thinking is, or what I've done my research on, is there's this bone that goes right here. Once that bone, you get it to slide out, that means this thing's pretty close to ready. And I can tell right now this it's not even close. So we'll get back to you here in a little bit and show you what I'm talking about. And uh, let's take a look at this meat and see where we're at. We've been cooking for about four and a half, five hours. And I want to take a look at it. The whole time I've been maintaining roughly about 250 degrees. But I've had a lot of problems today because of the wind. That, that has factored in dramatically on this temperature and uh, it's fluctuated quite a bit and when it and when I mean fluctuate I mean it's dropping I'm not it's not getting up real high it's just dropping and I'm having to raise it back up to where I want and one of the problems you're going to have with that is how long it takes to cook the meat that you're cooking uh, but no matter what I want this uh, smoke from light, light, very light, light wood all the time, and I maintain that by adjusting my uh, air intakes. Anyways, let's take a look at this and see what y'all think. Okay, so right here, this is that shoulder of lamb that uh, we've been cooking for a while, and uh, I'm still wanting to see this bone a little bit more and be able to pull it out. And I'm not there. So what that's telling me is it's still got a ways to go. And uh, that's where we're at on that. Now these beef ribs, these are a thinner beef rib. They don't have too much meat on them. These suckers are pretty much ready to go. I mean, I can just push on them. It's all the uh, rib itself. So we're going to take those ribs off the plate, or off the pit. And we're going to leave the lamb on there. So stay tuned. Okay. So we're back. Go ahead and wrap this. Don't mind the wind. But uh, we're going to go ahead and wrap this. Put it on the pit for about another hour. Just going to kind of show you how I wrap it. It's nothing special, but figured you'd want to see. Five is right. Put some handles. Pretty simple. And I'm just kind of throwing this in as an extra on this video. Uh, I did some beef ribs, and I didn't really go into very great detail on these. And I'll do a whole new episode on this later. But I did want to show you. 
how they turned out. So let me cut into these things and see what they look like. And then we'll do a little bit of a taste test. This is kind of just like little snippets of uh, good tasty meat, I'll tell you that. These are some of my favorite ribs. I, I really like them. They just have good flavor. And, and like I said, next time, we're going to uh, go into a little bit better detail about these. Anyways, let's give these things a look at. Look at that. Good smoke ring. Good bar, guaranteed good flavor. Let's flip it up on the other side. Man, look at that. Look at that juice. Just perfect. So, I'm excited to give these a taste. Let's go ahead and get our first taste. Mmm. Oh, yeah. These are spot on. They're juicy. Got good pull, man. They taste good. Anyways, stay tuned. We're gonna pull that lamb off here in a little bit. We'll do the same thing. Okay, so we're back. We're with the final product right before we slice it up. And uh, as this thing was barbecued on the pit, I decided to go ahead and wrap it, and see what happens. And then boom, I unwrap it. Check this out. This bone right here. It just slides right out. This kind of reminds me of a pork butt, you know, pulled pork. You're looking for that bone to just slide out of that meat and bam, it happened. So that's pretty cool. Now, let's get this thing. I think what I'm going to do, since there's uh, bones right here, I'm going to go ahead and cut this layer off right here. And uh, we're going to slice this sucker up. And then we'll slice up the uh, ribs itself and uh, give those a taste. So let's go ahead and give this thing a slice. I mean, this is this is kind of weird. It's reminded me of almost like a brisket. So we're slicing this thing up. We're gonna give this some slices right here, almost like a brisket. I want to see. You know, I'm gonna get a pretty thin cut here. Oh yeah, this is gonna be delicious. I mean, it, it's tender. I can get a good quarter inch cut on this thing. It's not completely falling apart. So I can already tell this is right where you're gonna want to get your lamb or your shoulder of lamb. And you know, it's probably 195 degrees. So let's take a look at this. Real quick, I want to grab this one piece that I have right here. And this is still pretty warm. Well, let's just get a good look at that juice. Oh, yeah. I mean, that, that's going to be excellent. So let me take a piece right here. Give it a good pull. Yeah, I've, it's good pull. One more time. Bam. Yes. You can definitely tell that this is lamb just by the flavor itself. Texture is good. It kind of reminds me of brisket. I've got a nice crust on this with a nice smoke ring. I mean, you can even see this smoke ring right here in this lamb. So, yeah, it's definitely good. But it's fairly simple to make. And it's just in time for Easter. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please subscribe. Hit the bell so you can get notifications when uh, I do new videos. I've got plenty of them coming out, and uh, I like doing this. Leave your comments, uh, any questions, or anything you think I can do better. I don't mind. I want to hear your feedback. So I hope you enjoyed this video.